guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super exciting video for you guys. I can't even handle it like, oh my goodness, I can't even deal. I have the iMats tag for you guys. This is my first year ever going to iMats and actually having the ability to go to iMats. Um, in the past, every single freaking Saturday, I would have an exam. Every Saturday without fail. What's the go with that? I don't know. That's why I hate being a uni student. But this year, Praise the Lord, praise the makeup gods. I get to go to IMATS. My last exam for this semester is actually Friday night, six o'clock, three to nine o'clock. I'm probably gonna be as tired as heck at IMATS, but I get to go and I'm so excited. Anyway, so I decided I wanted to do the IMATS tag because I saw heaps of people doing this like in 2013, 2012. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it because I haven't been to IMATS before. Oh my goodness, and I'm knocking stuff everywhere. So anyway, I did find some questions online, so I'll read them off my laptop. So yeah, let's get into the tag, I guess. So the first question is, which IMATS are you attending? I'm attending the IMATS here in Sydney. Second question is, have you ever been to IMATS before? No, I've never been able to go, but I'm so, so ecstatic that I get to go this year. So ecstatic. So question number three is how you're getting there. I'm actually gonna be catching the train. It probably takes me around an hour and a half to two hours to actually get to the IMATS venue. So I'm probably gonna to have to catch a train. Then I think I might need to catch a bus. I need to look into that, I'm not really too sure. Number four is, are you bringing anyone? I was going to bring Yagma, but she isn't able to go, unfortunately. And I've been pestering my little cousin to go, but she hasn't bought her ticket as of yet. So as of right now, I think I am going on my lonesome. However, I think I'm meeting up with a few beauty girls on the day. Um, so that will be amazing. I'm so excited. Number five is, is there anything else in the IMATS host city that you want to see? Um, I do live relatively close to... Sydney itself like some people think the two hours is a long time for me I don't think it's a long time because I do it every single day because um, I go there for work so not really not anything in particular at least so question number six is what days will you be in the city that IMATS is in so I live in Sydney like the Sydney basin here in New South Wales and I do go into the city like five days a week, Monday through Friday, and then I even go Saturday and Sunday for leisure. Um, so I don't really know if that answers the question because I live here. I don't know. Question seven is, who do you want to meet? To be honest, I just want to meet everybody and anybody. I just want to just talk to people about makeup. Like, I love makeup and I want to talk to people who also love makeup as well. So just anybody and everybody. So question eight is, what company exhibits are you most excited to see? Um, so for me, I personally am so excited to see the like demonstrations and SFX, not like the gore SFX, but just like the special effects kind of things, um, just because that really, really interests me and I'd like to see how people do it and just see how they do it really. Um, and then in addition to that, I'm not really excited, but I'm more curious to see how the Lime Crime stand is going to be. I know in previous years, Lime Crime has been there, so I'm going to guess that this year is going to be no exception. However, I don't want to see it for the fact that I want to buy Lime Crime. I want to go and see it for the fact that I want to see how people are reacting to the brand. Um, in the flesh because on the internet there is a negative persona on the brand. I personally will never buy Lime Crime again. I don't appreciate their values, morals or ethics um, but I would like to see other people's approaches to the brand. So number nine is what products are you looking for? Um, the only real products that I want to pick up are a few more Vizart eyeshadow palettes. I feel like those are absolutely divine and maybe the Kogan Doe foundation, um, the Cover Effects foundation and that's it really. If I see stuff, I'm gonna buy stuff. That's nature, to me at least. But I don't really have like that many things on my I must have or else I'll cry. Because at the end of the day, I can source stuff online. Like I live in Sydney, so I can just go to PM Studios, like the actual store, it's not a big deal. Um, but ideally, I would like to walk out with a few Vizart palettes as well as the Kogan Doe Foundation and the Cover FX Foundation. Number 10 is how much do you plan to spend? I don't have a limit on how much I will physically spend, like, oh, I'm gonna give you this much money to spend at IMATS. No, I'm not like that. I work full time, I work very, very hard for my money, and if I see something there that I like, I will buy it. Um, 
yet. So I don't really have a limit. I know I won't go crazy and spend like $2,000 because I'm not a makeup artist, but I definitely won't restrict myself to a money limit. So number 11 is what do you plan to get out of iMats? I personally just want to kind of socialize with other beauty YouTubers or bloggers and just kind of like, kind of grow my network base, I guess. Not really network base, but like I made YouTube to make friends and through YouTube I have made a few friends, but I wouldn't mind making a few more friends if that makes sense. So that's kind of just really what I want to make out of the day. Meet meet and make more friends with people who love what I love. So yeah. And I think that is the end of the tag guys. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are going to IMATS, oh my goodness, comment down below. I want to meet up with you guys. Even if it's only for like a minute, I want to meet you guys so badly. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>